So hi everybody, it's Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and it's really hot and sweaty, but uh, it's fig season. And so we've got a couple of fig, well, we got what, six, six fig trees on the farm and we've got, well, we thought it was five different varieties, but we think we have a couple of turkey, brown turkey figs and we got a Peter's honey, we got a Kadota and a panache fig, but our brown turkey figs, we've got two brown turkey figs there behind me. Um, they're again, two and a half years old. So one of the first trees we put in, um, but it produces a ton of fruit so we're gonna go take a look at that so just follow me on back so these are our fig trees our brown turkey figs um so you can kind of see they're uh, kind of massive at two years old probably our widest trees that we have on the farm uh well the mulberry trees are pretty big and wide too but anyways these trees are big and they produce a ton of fruit i mean it's like out of control like what do we do with all these figs so but what i want to show you is kind of what we do with our figs because we love figs our friends love figs and ants love figs and birds love figs it seems like everybody loves figs except for people who haven't had figs or have had fig newtons which are not figs well maybe there's figs in there but they're not figs anyways this is the actual fig so we've got figs and what we do is mainly because of the birds uh, the birds are like psycho for figs so what we do is we use these little they're called organza bags you'll recognize them if you've ever been to a wedding they put the little giveaways or mints or whatever on the table usually in these little guys. So we got these on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Um, they come in different colors. We thought, well, purple would be easier to see in a tree. And it's kind of funny because it looks a little bit like ornaments on a Christmas tree, but it does a really, really good job of keeping the birds off of the figs. And, you know, it's kind of a pain to go in and remove them and, you know, put them onto other figs. But come on and take a look and see what we do. Oh, and then, of course, a bucket to pick with. So if you come in closer, you'll see we've got, you know, figs kind of everywhere. So if you come in here, you can see that we've got, you know, green ones and, you know, figs go come out on new growth. So you can see in here, we got a little guy. He's really small, so he's not anywhere near ready to go. We got one that's just starting to turn color. So we're going to cover him today. And then right below it, we've got one that's pretty ready to pick. It's droopy. It's kind of hanging down. Uh, if you look at this, you can tell it's, it's pretty it's pretty thick and juicy and yummy uh so and it's really heavy you can tell it's full of water so it's definitely ready to go so i'm just going to pick that guy off so we just kind of pinch it or maybe i'll go the other way so to pick this off we'll just kind of pinch it that way and that's a fig so and we've got dozens and dozens of them that are ripe so he's going in my bucket and then what we do is we just take this bag from the fig we just picked and we've got this other one that's pretty much ready to go you can see it's already starting to kind of droop which means it's really starting to fill in and with this heat they get really really yummy fast and sugary cinch it tight so the birds can't get in ants generally don't either every once in a while we'll get some ants but for the most part not too bad so i've got lori behind the camera my beautiful camera lady who eats these figs too by the way i'm not the only one that eats these figs but we're going to go through the rest of these trees right now. We got these two that we need to try to harvest from today. So when we're done harvesting, uh, we'll come back so you can see what we're getting uh, just this morning out of our fig trees. We just got done spending the last, I don't know, 10 minutes sweating our behinds off because it is hot. I mean, it's hot. It's Phoenix hot in Whitman, which is basically right next to Phoenix. So anyways, we, uh, so the cool part about it being hot is uh, fig, figs are um, super sweet and delicious. So um, these are the figs that we just picked, harvested from our two brown turkey figs, um, our two-year-old brown turkey figs. This is pretty much what we get every day. So, and Lori was just at Sprouts, uh, what, on Wednesday? Yeah, so Wednesday. She was just on Wednesday and eight of these were four bucks. Was that four bucks or five bucks? Four bucks. Yeah, like four bucks. So anyways, this is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Uh, so yeah, if I'm doing my math right, uh, isn't that like three times eight is 24? So it's a lot. So this is like 12, 13 bucks worth of figs. Um, if you're to get them there. And of course we use all organic. We don't use any pesticides at all, not even organic pesticides so we use no pesticides no herbicides we use all natural fertilizer three times a year um, so and then we water so anyways I wanted you guys to see this so I'm gonna bust this one open because it's nice and heavy it's big it's thick at the top uh, it's nice and yellow at the top um, and then dark purple at the bottom so you gotta come check this out 
and I like to open them from the bottom and oh my goodness gracious not as dark as some of the other ones but what we have been finding is that they're really super super sweet so I'm gonna try some oh my goodness I feel like this is going to just fall out of my mouth and I'm going to start drooling like a little baby. Anyway, sure. I'm going to try something beautiful. She's camera shy. Maybe not for too long. Anyways, we got a lot of other stuff we need to do today, but we just wanted to show these couple videos to you guys and kind of get our channel off to a good start and you guys can see Edge of Nowhere Farm. So from us, the A-Bears out in Whitman and Edge of Nowhere Farm, see ya.